Are you aware what's happening in the NBA? Because it's been lit on fire. D Rose. That's not D Rose. That is one, two, three. I am getting his jersey. It's fifth on my list as far as shit that has gone down. Can he wear number one on the Pistons? He's wearing twenty five according to that photoshopped picture. That's I don't know if they like talked to him about that beforehand. Isn't Isaiah Thomas back in the day was he number one? I could be like way off. Don't, I'm not no like NBA guru. I um, legitimately don't know. Could be. I didn't care about the Pistons back then. You don't care about the Pistons at all. The only reason why you do is because of me. Nah. Our yeah. NBA series made me like him a little bit. <laughs> I like Drummond and Blake. No reason not to like him. <clears throat> you like? I'm him gonna give you a little rundown. How much I would pumping them up on season i hate them more if you haven't done that i probably would like Dude. them a lot more yeah go ahead i'm gonna go on a tangent so you don't can, do that yeah. all right so the nba offseason we're getting to the point where uh, free agency is be- it's we're not even in free agency yet but a ton of people have already agreed verbally to deals apparently there we are i thought it starts like <clears throat> i thought it started in sunday July. at like uh at uh 2 p.m eastern or some shit like that it might be but a lot of these were already done deals before then for example kyrie irving and kevin durant to brooklyn they each took apparently ten million less each to also For land four years. DeAndre Jordan four years each. Kyrie's getting paid a little bit less. Makes sense. KD's gonna be out for a year, but he's KD. Yeah. So Brooklyn's suddenly a powerhouse. Granted, they had to give away D'Angelo Russell. He went to Golden State. What the fuck? How did that even happen? We were speculating all these places he go. He could have went to Minnesota or some shit. How he could have been gonna, the star of a team. How's that gonna work? He just he's either the sixth man of the year or he's just stands next to Steph until Clay comes back. They don't need defense or anything if you're scoring 130 points a game. What the fuck? It's a new D-Lo's NBA. He's so young too. He's only 23 years old. He's very young. He's not great at defense. Uh, Draymond's gonna have to guard all five positions. Whatever. It is you know what what's it fucked is. up about Golden State though? What? Why'd they trade Iggy like that, though? I haven't gotten to there yet. Shut up, man. You keep skipping ahead to the bottom you know of the why? list for some shit. You know why? Because he was him? had a big contract, and he's old and no. rickety. Did you, rickety hear, did you hear about the, the, the rumor? The, the whispers? No, because I don't subscribe to rumors. <laughs> Me either, but I know. Apparently, you do. <laughs> Sit here spreading well, them. Before um, all this happened, like a week ago, mm-hmm. Iggy was promoting his book that he just made. Okay. So uh, he was on, like, the... ESPN channels and shit talk about it. Sure, sure. They're asking about like the finals and all that. Yep, yep. And he talks about how when he was injured, mm. Golden State kept like putting pressure on him. The team itself was putting pressure on him. Like, you're not injured anymore, right? Like, you're healthy, right? Mm. And he's like, no, like my doctor's still saying I'm injured. Like, I can't play. And he said like he felt like an uncomfortable amount of pressure. And the fact they are putting that out there for everybody else to, like the fans and everybody else to see is like unnecessary. Mm. Kind of like KD. Okay, he left of his own volition. Why though? Do you think I'm pretty because sure. they're pushing him, pushing players to play while injured? I think that's that, why they also traded Iguodala. That's why Kawhi left. That was a different team. Yeah, I'm not saying like uh, San Antonio and like Golden State did the exact same thing, but I'm saying that's not a good look on Golden State. I guess so. And uh, the like, fact of the matter is, Iguodala is old. Like, like Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith both said, like when they te- like Stephen A's like. Golden, Golden State said it had nothing to do with what he said a week ago. Max is like, yeah, I'm sure. Like, how convenient. Perfect timing. Shit like that. So, like, I don't know if it had anything to do with it either, but it's kind of crazy how, like... There's some drama. Yeah. Like, I th- I don't know. Like, I wouldn't see, like, the Red Wings just trading. Like, it, that'd be like trading Cronwall right off rip just because you need more salary cap. Like, there's, like, a respect thing in NHL. Well, they definitely don't I don't get know if that's, like, that for NBA. The, ca- the salaries... Well, they don't get paid as much, but the, the, the cap in, compared to how much they I doubt paid, it's proportionate. I'm... How much was he getting paid? I honestly don't know. Because Cromwell was getting paid like six million a year, and they the cap is like, I don't even know. But it's like <laughs> it's not that much. It's not ridiculous like NBA. So he went to Memphis for some twenty twenty four draft picks. LeBron James Jr. I guess who the fuck knows? No, I thought they gave him to Memphis, and they traded, and them. they sent a twenty twenty four draft pick. I think they got yeah. picks in return. They oh, got, okay. They got a first round of return. Their pick was like their. How that works out is so weird. It's like, some protected shit, <clears throat> one to four. It right. has a range. So it's like going to say shits to bed next year, and they get the fourth round pick or the fourth overall pick, one yeah. through four. It, they keep that pick, mm-hmm. and then the was the Memphis. Yep. They get the second round pick for the following year, unless it's the very number one pick. And if it is, then it gets the fucking following year. <laughs> I heard him. I was like, Jesus Christ, it's that's a complex, trade. absolutely complex. So more moves, bigger moves than Nick's drama. Kemba to Boston. So yes, probably. I think my favorite move of the entire uh, offseason so far. Really? It's great for both parties. Boston gets an upgrade because they got toxic Kyrie Irving out. Shout out to Kyrie. He's still my favorite player. And Kemba gets to get out of Charlotte where he is clearly not wanted. I saw MJ. He wasn't wanted? No. 
he tried to take a discount for the team and they lowballed him lower than the discount. Oh. MJ sent out a, a letter to him just today, actually. And it was the most generous, generic ass goodbye I've ever fucking heard. It's Jordan. He's he, like the most competitive. He did great for the uh, team, and uh, he was one of the best players in this franchise. And uh, <laughs> wish him and his family the best. I can see him. Saying thanks, MJ. Real fucking thanks. That says "fuck you." I hope you burn in hell. Exactly. Speech. What Kemba offers to Boston is a lot more than what Kyrie did. I think, just as a, from a leadership perspective, he released a uh, players' tribune thing. I don't know if you ever have read those, but like uh, Kevin Love and Demar did theirs about their mental health issues it's just a really great piece or a platform for hmm. players to get their words <clears throat> out their thoughts out you should check it out that. players tribune yeah he says here's a quote i am a leader in my own way i'm never going to shout anyone off the court or get overly negative it's not my style but what i do is take pride in making my teammates better i'm that lead by example type i like to keep it direct kind of like a Kawhi or like a lindstrom exactly and Eisenman. that's if you look at the boston team is all these young players they they're gonna lose al horford spoiler alert to the rest of my list fucking philly though Stop spoiling it more. Absolutely. So they're going to definitely need that leadership, and I think Kimba's the, a great choice for it. I definitely think he's better than Kyrie because Kyrie can't be a leader. He's too toxic. He's not, a better, <clears throat> he gets too, he's not a better player than Kyrie. No, but he's... Definitely a better leader. Yeah, definitely and leader. when Kyrie turns into toxic Kyrie, it's not good. You gain, your team loses. Yeah, mm-hmm. They did worse with him than they did without him. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. How do you think that's going to work with KD and Kyrie? Like, I know they're really, really good friends. <laughs> snakes on top of snakes. But, they're like, all snakes. Even DeAndre Jordan. like He played the Mavericks way back when. All the drama mm. that surrounds KD, and he consumes himself with it. He like makes his own little Instagram accounts, argues with people. Oh man, he 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 lets the drama and the pressure like he seeps into him. I don't know if he lets it get to him because he it, still plays. I was gonna say because his, his uh, performances that's speak f- otherwise. I think that's the funnest thing about it. Like you have Kyrie, KD, DeAndre Jordan. They could go so bad. It could be the biggest dumpster fire so in the world. Or, or so in 2021, bad. they're the fucking champions because KD comes back and mm-hmm. they've established a team around him and Kyrie. Good luck with AD and LeBron. It's True. It's hard to argue with the Lakers, and they haven't still you know locked in the rest of their contract picks. So who knows? Yeah, Maybe Kawhi, still fucking Kawhi. Kawhi. I don't think that's a good idea. Kawhi said that he's not. St- Talking to any teams till like the end of the week. Really? Yeah, he's like he's being Kawhi. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> More picks. Hassan Whiteside is going to Portland. I know. I just fucking heard that. That's really good for Portland. It is good for Portland. They get a very dominant center. Could, he has a big contract though. Is Kent? Can, Cantor. He. Is I don't he, think he's he's still a free agent. I think. No, he's not. I'm pretty sure he is. No, he's not. Mostly sure he is. He's on f- 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 Philly. How is he? That must be breaking news. Yeah, I checked all over for this shit <laughs> today. <laughs> At least I've seen like an Instagram thing of the starting five. Oh. So well, I would believe I normally believe those Instagram posts. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, White saw- Side's an upgrade, right? Oh, definitely. He's way bigger. Okay. You get those rebounds, and uh, I saw uh, he posted some selfie video of him in his car. He was like, "We got shooters. We got shooters." <laughs> he was going fucking ape shit because now he's on a fucking good team. Speaking of the Heat, Jimmy Butler's going there. Jimmy Butler to Miami. Jimmy I, Butler. I don't care about from that. From fucking Philly. How do you not care? He saw Dwayne Wade getting some legendary treatment uh, while he was training there or some shit. And First he of all, that from it wasn't Philly. It was Boston. You're a I knew, liar. I knew that. You're a dirty liar. Because I was like, there's no way he's on Philly. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And Al Horford. Yeah, yeah, so they also get Al Horford. Philadelphia does. Uh, people were, I was speculating myself about where he would go. There was like a $100 million bidder out there. Mm-hmm. He's a good fit next to Embiid, but I think that's definitely that's a risky way, contract. Too, way too much to pay him because he is pretty old himself. He's, gonna, he's worth it now, but you better hope Who knows next now. year. Yeah. But back to Jimmy Butler. Why yeah. is that so good? Like, Who else is on Miami? He just went there to well, get paid, right? Essentially. For him, yeah, it's just to get paid, but... They, I think they still have Goran Dragic, but he's a great point guard, and uh, he was facilitating with Dwayne Wade, who was fucking old as shit, so you know you... They almost made the playoffs last year. Yeah, so you switched Dwayne Wade out for fucking Jimmy Butler. But I mean... They gave up uh, Josh Richardson, I believe. He went to Philadelphia. I feel weird about Butler going to Miami, because he's... It's hard a, not to feel weird about Butler in general, just because he's, he's so like so competitive, a, and he exactly. wants to win so bad, but then you just... You go from a stacked Philly team, which you, like, you are good in Philly. Yeah. Like, that's like your type of team maybe they just didn't get along well. and uh yes. now you're going to miami you ain't gonna win shit you're gonna get frustrated <laughs> again and ask for a fucking trade like you can't just ask for a trade everywhere you go That's like it's, you're just gonna be like the little ronnie bitch of the fucking nba yeah even though he's a hard worker and he wants to win but don't fucking go to a team that you know you're not gonna win with All right work for the results hard to, hard for us to argue but against it but yeah that's what it seems like derrick rose to the pistons d rose 
Absolutely mentioned Damn that. Damn that jersey, son. He's going to be a great supplement of offense to a team that desperately uh, needs it, especially off the bench. Be, you think he's going to be off the bench? I think so, yeah. Ish he's... Smith is going to uh, the Wizards, by the way. Oh. You are wondering what would happen to him. Reggie went to the Knicks. Bullock? Yes. Yes. I think he's been off the Pistons for a while, but. Has he? Pretty sure. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So you know. Andre Godala of the Memphis. Talked about it. Al Horford to Philly. Talked about it. Jimmy Butler to Miami. Yeah. <clears throat> Lots of shit happening. The biggest loser of the whole thing is the Knicks. I know. The entire... You heard Stephen A. Smith uh, Fuck, complain yes, about it. Yes, I have. It's so I just funny. got done crying. <laughs> Can't get over this shit. It's funny because everybody says Max Kellerman is like the retard that doesn't know shit about NBA. Jesus. But he picked Toronto to win in six games. He said the Knicks weren't going to get any fucking free agent. They got Julius Randle. Yeah, did you know what Stephen A said about that? What? <laughs> he's like, you can't even just wait to tell me that tomorrow? <laughs> like, you, you, like, what the fuck? So you got him on the first day? Like, that's supposed to be some good prize? I saw it's some... It's been on top of that! <laughs> you say you don't want Kevin Durant anyway? What kind of shit is that? Like, that's a good impression. <laughs> I listen to him a lot, man. That's funny. I saw a, a fan of his called into his show, and he was like, I know, you, I know you're upset about this, but... Uh, just think about this. One thing you're not considering is uh, Carmelo Anthony has not picked a team yet. <laughs> it's like, oh okay, God. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> bye. <laughs> That's a troll right there. That's hilarious. That is fucking funny. I guess New York Knicks could save face if the Brooklyn Nets just turn into a shit show. If they fall apart, absolutely. Or if KD can never recover. True, yeah. Maybe Which, they're the smartest ones here. I mean, I don't know. They no. definitely, definitely foiled their plans. They were trying to get... Three stars for yeah, sure. I mean, they get shit. They lost Chris Stops, who just signed a new deal with the Mavericks. Good for him. Max deal, right? Yeah. yeah. And I guess they got Randall, but he's only twenty four. So like, who is the the powerhouse teams in the East right now? Brooklyn, it's, Toronto, currently. It's Brooklyn, Philly, and Boston. Toronto was not a, a powerhouse yet, unless Kawhi resigns. True. That's what I'm saying. Currently. Like as of now, with Kawhi on the Raptors, which I I think there's a good I think there's a good chance he stays. I know he's getting the last. He always, Toronto's having the last meeting with him. He's giving that due diligence, mm-hmm. which is cool. In the West, and you said that uh, what you don't think you don't like him on the Lakers. I don't think so because uh, if they sign him to a max contract along with the other max contracts they have with LeBron with AD, then that leaves him with nothing but minimum contracts going forward. Right. I think that presents problems. Especially in the playoffs. LeBron's getting old. He can't play 40 fucking minutes. Would it be good for the Lakers? And I think it'd be good for the Lakers long term. To get Kawhi? Yes. And is that way for LeBron to leave or some shit? Yes. They could win a championship now, next year, without KD. And they could easily win a championship next year. If Kawhi, LeBron, and AD are on that starting five, mm. if they manage Kawhi correctly... And he doesn't get burned out, which I don't like. I I hear that if you play in the West, you can't manage your time because all the West is so competitive. But I don't know about that. Like he's East played in the West already. He right. has a Western <clears throat> Finals right. MVP. But uh, just those three are so fucking dominant, dude. It's true. But what happens when they're off the court? All three of those players have had teams that struggled I'm sure when be they're a on the bench. Bunch of veterans that would sign minimum contracts just to be with them. Yes. Look I at Boogie so. with Golden State. Well. Boogie's an exception. <laughs> we're not going to talk about him. He's still a free agent. No one knows where he's going to go. Oh, he almost went to the Knicks. Stephen A. Smith about lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking funny. But I, I think that they could win like next year. The following year, maybe not. But then LeBron retires after, what, like four or five years or something? Sounds but right. then you got like AD and Kawhi in their You got to hope that they stay that 30s, whole time. Which, I mean, they probably would. It's the Lakers. Why wouldn't they? Lots of people leave the Lakers. I think they would have been better off getting fucking D'Lo. He didn't, get oh, max, yeah. he didn't get a max contract. I, I agree. I don't with know that. how Golden State fucking swiped it. It was some horse shit, honestly. It's probably, what if Kawhi goes to fucking Golden State? It probably had something to do with uh, KD talking to Brooklyn. I think that is related, actually. Yes. Yeah. They had to, like, they probably definitely talked that out somehow. Because mm. I don't go to State off for KD the max. Mm. And he turned it down. So fucking and the Clippers. Goodness. All right, the Clippers. Uh, Clay signed the max. That would have been hilarious if he went to the Clippers. Clay went to the Clippers and the Kawhi went to the Clippers. Game over. See ya. Game over. Yeah. <clears throat> that's uh, NBA. It's wild out here. 